Today we took a little tour of uh, the MAPC offices to check for accessibility issues. We just want to make sure that our offices are as accessible as possible for both the future staff and for visitors and um, also to get a little uh, insight into what it's like to actually have a disability. So um, MAPC wants to make sure that our offices are fully accessible and also look at our programs and how we run meetings. Um, then also reaching out to our communities and helping them make sure they're in compliance, working with them, um, and just generally educating uh, the people that we come in contact with. All right, this, this door has been a challenge. I've tried it several times. Um, it requires, it's got a good lever because that's the type of handle you're supposed to have, but it requires too much force, more than five pounds of force to open it. So the only way it's seen to do this is by using your feet or the bottom of the wheelchair, kick it open, and then you lose your momentum for getting up over the threshold. So I'm going to have to move this in order to get in. Now I will try once again to get out. <laughs> open it with the fist, close fist. But then, when I try to pull it back, it's, you really can't wheel yourself backwards with one hand, not for very long, without getting off course. Mm. So, if this door had less pressure, it might be easier. This one's a lot easier to open than the restroom door. So here I can easily get to the refrigerator, take it to a different angle, the toaster oven, the coffee machine. Now, to get to the sink, I would have to move the trash can, open those doors, and push all the stuff back. And then this is supposed to give me eight seconds. It does not give me eight seconds. And have an opening that if you really couldn't use your hand, if it was jabbed in there tight. But you have braille and the raised letter on all the controls. You can reach them all. No. No. Now let me turn first and do this. Yeah. Hit that three again. Open the door. So is the delay bad on that? Um, I think if, you, if you're turned around and you're ready to go out, it's not bad. It's crowded. Yeah. I can get in here and I can turn the lights on. Not a problem. If I wanted to go all the way to the table, the placement of these chairs would be a bit of an issue. Okay, it's the placement of these two trash cans and recycling barrel that makes things a little tough because you're trying to come in between these two tables and you really need all the maneuvering space you can get. And again, little things like where that's placed make it, you might still be able to get in, but anything that chews up any of your 32 inches. I can reach the water cooler, the refrigerator, the microwave. Now this sink has something that looks more accessible, but I don't know that it's actually deep enough because when I wheel myself all the way up, even though it looks like it's made for that, no. I still can't okay. can't reach the soap dispenser, and I can just barely reach the lever. So it it looks like they made an attempt to make it accessible, but it needs to be uh, pulled back. Okay, earlier when I came down here and I tried to get to Sheila's office, the problem is having equipment right in front of an office door chews up some of your turning space. So if I want to see Sheila, and who doesn't want to see Sheila? <laughs> Again, I have that problem because it's a little mm -hmm. hard if I could back up or maneuver into here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to recommend that this be moved. First got interested in um, ADA and handicapped access issues when I was doing open space plans and you have to survey the parks to see whether or not they're accessible. 
and um, that led to sort of looking into um, the broader picture. It fits in very uh, closely with many of the goals of Metro Future in terms of uh, making the region accessible, um, planning for an aging population, um, for people, the concept of universal design, which means that what works for people with limited mobility helps uh, other folks, like uh, people pushing baby strollers or wheeled luggage or carrying equipment. It's just good design as opposed to uh, for one segment of the population.